Facial recognition payment just makes their life easier. China ranks as the fastest growing country for mobile payments. This is the safest form of biometric recognition. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I am again in the beautiful city of Shenzhen and today we're going to explore a little bit about the wonderful technologies that this city offers. And I'm talking about the payment methods. Traditional way of payments such as cash or credit cards are part of the past. Things like WeChat Pay or face recognition are part of our daily life here. Today, I want to take you to explore all these cool technologies that are changing our life for all of us who live in China. Let's go. QR codes are something extremely popular here in China, and with the deeper penetration of smartphones, now you can pay with QR codes basically everything. Everywhere you go here in China, you will see a QR code. It has helped to create the habit of paying everything with our smartphones here. Owing to QR codes, China ranks as the fastest growing country for mobile payments. QR codes are commonly integrated to super apps such as WeChat and Alipay. Let's take a taxi to see how it works and how they just use it on a daily basis. Now, to see this one. See this one. So basically, every driver they already print out the QR code that you can use to pay. In one side, you will find the WeChat payment, and the other side is the Alipay. So once you arrive to the place, you simply scan the QR code and pay for that. It's very simple, very seamless, very fast and safe process. You can see this is a technology that is covering basically every single area of the Chinese economy. Uh, small street vendors, taxi drivers, uh, small convenience stores, everywhere everybody has a QR code here that you can use for payment. And I personally love it. I don't carry cash with me anymore. All that I have with me every time is my phone, make sure it's charged and you'll be able to pay for your ride. New technologies as enabled, Chinese companies use palm print recognition in everyday settings. Some study says this is the safest form of biometric recognition. So while fingerprint and facial recognition has been widely used in identity verification scenarios, the technology that distinguishes different palms including the visible lines and the beneath of the skin, the palm print payments devices are boxes with a screen showing instructions and a camera capturing the palm data. The proposal of palm print recognition payments seems very simple. With it, there is no need to bring a wallet, credit card or even cell phone to complete an in-store purchase. Let's check out how it works. So now let's take a closer look to what this palm recognition system is like. I'm here with my friend uh, Jackson and she will help us to give a try go inside this little uh, convenience store. So come with us. So what we're doing right now is registering her hand because it's the first time she's using it. So she needs to scan first the, the hand and then we'll show a QR code that she will later link with her WeChat account. So that way she will be registered and she can use it in the future. Okay, she just needs to input the passcode. Apparently it's okay. And you can see here in the little screen is her name and voila, she got it. That's it, like we just purchased uh, this uh, bottle of candy with just scanning the hand. So here it is, we just purchased this bubble gum, only scanning the hand of my friend Jackson here. That is really, really amazing. As we saw with the QR codes, China is a world leader in adopting new technologies when it comes to payments. But now, face recognition payments is becoming more and more popular. It started to be available in 2017, and it is used mostly in convenience stores, vending machines, and supermarkets. According to an iMedia research estimates, more than 495 million Chinese used facial recognition payment in 2021. 
Even though we have seen some projects to implement face recognition in other countries like Spain and South Korea, this technology is rapidly and widely implemented in China. Surprisingly, this technology is successful especially among elderly because it allows them to pay with very quickly. Facial recognition payment just makes their life easier. From supermarkets to convenience stores to restaurants, everywhere you can use this kind of payment. So right now, my friend Grayson is going to show us how it works like. We're going to go to a small shop to get a drink. Let's go. So what we just did right now is using this small device just to scan the face of my friend Grayson. He simply stand here, touch the screen, and immediately recognize his ID and all the information. He didn't need to include any passcode or any other additional information just to purchase this ring. That is mind blowing. I really, I'm really impressed of seeing these kind of things here in China. And the craziest thing is this is part of the daily life. It's like everywhere, every single small shop would have one of these kind of like a tablet or an iPad device with some special cameras for face recognition. And that's it. Everybody can use and pay just using their face. NFC stands for Near Field Communication. And even though it's not as popular as QR code here in China, it's still very easy to find a lot of places where you can pay with your phone through NFC. The most popular, I would say, is Apple Pay. The Cupertino company enjoys a 23.7 share in the Chinese smartphone market. For what using your iPhone to pay in stores or in the subway is also normal here. Now, one of the main difficulties for NFC to grow is that it requires special technical equipment to process payment. I have here some cash that I've kept on my pocket or my wallet for a long time already. I want to make a little experiment and come to a coffee shop and buy something using cash to see how convenient it is. Hello. 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 Yes, not yet. Yes, not yet. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Uh, do you have five yen? Me. She asked me if I have five yen because she probably doesn't have change for one. So, she's here. Passing. So yeah, actually I just gave her one bill and she returned like many more, which is still less convenient and even a coin that I don't have a place to, to keep it. So, but yeah, that's the truth about cash and uh, the past. Now we live in a different time of our history when we use our phones, our faces and our hands to pay. Cash, that's part of the past. So we can use now our phones, we can scan our face, we can use our fingerprints, our hands to make payments. I wonder what is going to be the next step. What is the future bringing for us here in China when it comes to new methods? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Remember also to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. Remember also to hit the bell button so you know what is going to be the next video I upload in our channel. So thank you very much for watching this video and with that I will see you in the next one. Bye bye!